ओके हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू सी जे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन ऑफ दिस सर्टिफिकेशन कैटालिस्ट सीरीज डेडिकेटेड टू द जेंकिन सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी अ न्यू डेवलपर हैज जॉइन योर टीम द टीम हैज अ फोल्डर ऑन योर जेंकिन सर्वर विच यूज प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड मैट्रिक सिक्योरिटी यू आर चोल दैट द न्यू एम्प्लॉय कैन नॉट सी द फोल्ड द वॉन्स दे हैव लॉकड इन ग्लोबल परमिशन सेट टू अलाउ authenticated users read access at both the overall context and the job context what is the most likely cause so you have a new developer and after he has logged in uh, he cannot see a folder now uh, the uh, folder uses project based matrix security so before going to the options let us very quickly do something uh one second Yes, good. Sorry, my system hanged. So if I go here and I go to my Jenkins installation, very good. So if I come here in Jenkins and then I do manage Jenkins, and then I very quickly do configure global security. So I have not yet focused that much on this part, but security is a very important part of the exam. So if I come here in this authorization. and if you see here there are many things that you can do in authorization for example anyone can do anything what does that mean that means something that you should not ever enable this means that anybody who is logged in or not logged in even unauthenticated users can do anything so never to be done so as you can see no authorization is performed everyone gets full control of jenkins including anonymous users who haven't signed on this is not something you should do this is useful in situations when you run jenkins in a trusted environment as a company intranet just to you need to use the authentication for personalization support in this way if someone needs to do a quick change to jenkins this won't be forced to log in not at all a good practice if then there is legacy mode now there there is this thing called project based matrix authorization strategy what does this mean this means that you can first of all set something at a global level for example i can set that my authenticated users will have overall overall read access and my anonymous users will have no access so if you cannot log in if you're an anonymous user you will have no access to jenkins but if you are for example an authenticated user then you will have read access everywhere then this particular user this is my user with which i have logged in is given an administrator access to my overall pipeline basically overall jenkins so i am an administrator for overall jenkins but what is this good thing about project based method strategy is that you can again then configure or override this at a project level okay meaning at a folder level or a pipeline level something like that okay but this matrix strategy is the best thing that you can the best strategy or the best security feature that you have in jenkins out of the box there are other plugins and then there is a much better enterprise grade security if you use the cloud be score jenkins but if you are using this open source jenkins and you are not using any other plugins is a very very good feature that you have okay project based matrix authorization strategy now say let me save this okay now in parallelly what i will do let me go to my jenkins and let me go to a folder Uh, 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 yes, this one. No, not this one. Let me try to. Sorry, my stuff. These are all my projects. To configure. Yes. So you can see here. I have similar. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where did it go? Sorry. Just let me go again there. My stuff. Then let me go to this build agent. Let me click on this configure. Should be here. I don't understand. Ah uh, shit! Uh, where is those things going? Why is everything pipeline project? I don't understand. Why I'm going to the folder? I don't understand. Why is it all of them are folders? I want to go to a job. 
okay i was going at the folder level i guess sorry uh, now it should be okay yes perfect enable project based security this is what i was going to get at. so see so this is what i was saying that you have some global permissions but then you have some local permissions or local settings of a project now what is this saying that inheritance strategy is inherit permissions from parent acl so this item will inherit its parent item permissions in addition to any permissions granted here now if i remove it and i said do not inherit permission grants from other acls then whatever is your global setting will not apply here so this will not inherit the global security setting or any permissions from its ancestors only permissions which are explicitly granted here will be granted okay so this is very important to understand now if i come to my question this is the context is that authenticated users have been given access at both the overall context and the global context using global permissions so at global level authenticated users have access to the folder but your user who has been authenticated okay this he is still not seeing that what does that mean that means at the folder level we have done this we have done this do not inherit permission from other acls since i have enabled this even though the global permission is giving that user access unless and until i add them explicitly here so i have to add them explicitly here unless and until i do that and give him for example uh, total permissions i have to give them this thing unless and until i do that they will not see because i have explicitly said that do not inherit permission grants from other acls so this is what is also happening in that use case so here what it is saying the answer is first of all the question option a the user needs to be explicitly added to the authenticated users no there is nothing like that you can do for example anybody who is authenticated is already part of authenticated user anybody who is not authenticated is part of the anonymous group so you don't need to add anybody explicitly the folder permissions needs to be explicitly configured to allow authenticated user access see this is obviously true but not only authenticated user access uh, the glow then everybody will get access right to that global permission but what we need to do is that basically option c the folder permission is right now configured to disable global inheritance and the user does not have the explicit read access to the concerned folder the user does not have explicit read access the user is part of that authenticated group and the authenticated group was given access to everybody okay everybody in the global permission but since my particular folder is configured to disable global inheritance i am not inheriting that global permission and as such my user right now has no access to that folder or that job as soon as i either enable the global permission basically i enable inheritance then i will get the same or i explicitly add them so the cause is c the d the global user setting need to be modified to allow anyone access to anything no this is not at all a secure practice anybody should not be allowed access to anything so this is very important this matrix based security is very very important the answer is c so you need to understand that matrix based security is the best you can do from open source jenkins perspective now to do that you can set obviously permissions at the global level you can set permissions at the folder level jobs level ancestor level everybody now you have options to either for example as you can see you have options to inherit parent from the parent acl so whatever is your parent you just inherit that that parent inherits the other you can directly inherit uh, from your um uh, global permissions the permissions that i defined there so for example all permissions that i'm defining in this permission section this configure global security permission section i directly inherit so i don't inherit anything from my ancestors i directly inherit from the global settings and another option is i don't inherit anything from anyone i do not anything i explicitly add anything so normally what we will do normally you will mostly do this okay or sometimes you might do this because globally defined permissions for example administrators you want them to have access to every single pipeline or every single project right in your jenkins instance so if i do this then unless and until i add those administrators again here explicitly they lose that access that is why they are saying to ensure that users are not inadvertently locked out from jenkins an exception is made for the overall administrator permission administrator jenkins will still have access to the object even if not explicitly granted here so jenkins administrators group will still have access 
so who are overall administrators will have access but anybody else who is at the global level they will not have access right so for example somebody you have given access at the global level for example here so here you have come here and you have for example given somebody not this you have given somebody access to this and to run all jobs so for example a job administrator okay those credentials you are not going to find unless and until you inherit the global permission okay so pretty straightforward but uh, very powerful nonetheless and you should focus on this part so there are documentations on this part for example matrix based security this is a complete documentation on how to use matrix based security the permissions and everything and you should read this kind of documentation and have a complete overview of the entire security practice for Jenkins thank you